We'd like to tell you a story about a young girl, about 18 years old, about five foot two, and about to go out. Now her mother, realizing it was the first time out with a young man, called her into the bedroom and said, Minnie, you're dressed up in all your finery, your very best clothes, and you look beautiful. You're gorgeous. You're alluring. You look swell, too, babe. And now, Minnie, I want you to remember everything I've always told you. And above all, I want you to be very, very careful. But she had to go and lose it at the Astor. She didn't take her mother's good advice. Now there aren't so many girls today who have one. And she wouldn't have let it go for any price. They searched the place from penthouse to the cellar. In every room and underneath each bed. Once they thought they saw it laying on a pillow. But they found it belonged to someone else instead. Oh, she had to go and lose it at the Astor. She didn't know exactly whom to blame. And she couldn't say just how or when she lost it. She only knew she had it when she came. They questioned all the bellboys and the porters. The chef appeared to be the guilty guy. The doorman also acted quite suspicious. But he quietly said, I'm sure it wasn't I. Oh, she had to go and lose it at the Astor. It nearly killed her mother and her dad. They felt as bad about the thing as she did. For after all, it was the only one she had. They just about completed all their searching when the chauffeur walked up with it in his hand. All they did was stand and gape. There was Minnie Sable Cape. And she thought that she had lost it at the Astor.